Hi folks, so far I've shown you two cool devices from Vattenfall. On the right here I have the Smart Plug, which is a device that allows you to uh, automate your home, switching on and off different appliances, such as in this case the lamp, via the smartphone, uh, smartphone app called Energy Watch. So switch on the lamp there. And on the left I have the Energy Watch, which uh, shows you how much uh, power is being consumed within your home so for things like um, heating up the water uh, and the electricity and such and um, uh, heating in general this is a very good uh, device it shows you uh, daily monthly and annually how much you're consuming and it also converts it into the currency um, what I'll do now is something that happened here in Stockholm just yesterday and that was a blackout so I will switch off the uh, power into the Devato Go which uh, will resume its operation seamlessly uh, via the battery that it's running on and that will send off an SMS alert to my, mo my mobile phone uh, saying that it's now running on battery so um, in that case you want to make sure that things such as the energy watch which are hooked up by Wi-Fi is also running on battery which it is so uh, my SMS just arrived from the uh, router saying that the Go is now running on battery power. Great, we know that now. Now I want to introduce a third product, a very interesting product which I know many of you have been asking over years. And that is a wireless thermometer called the Smart Temp, also from Vattenfall. And that was that third box right here. Now, the Smart Temp can measure the temperature both indoors and outdoors via the help of this cable. So this sensor, let's just put it here on the 25 watt lamp to heat it up a little bit. And what we do is, to do the initial pairing, we first have to insert the three batteries. So I'll insert uh, the third battery here after unscrewing these two screws uh, from the base. So, like that. And we close the lid, and then we screw on the back these two screws. So what we'll do now is we'll hold down this uh, LED button here uh, for 10 seconds, like we did with the smart plug, if you remember. So let's see. Three, two, one and let go and then in the smartphone app called energy watch after we've logged in with our energywatch.se account I'll proceed to the top right here on the N header page which means devices or units and I'll click on the plus to add a new smart temp like that and now as you can see the as in the illustration shows these lamps are blinking as they should. I click on Fouchette to continue. I have to temporarily leave the app, go to the Wi Fi settings, turn on the Wi Fi, and then I have to look for the EW Temp Wi Fi SSID. So I click on that one, and I've now paired my phone together with this Smart Temp. So that's the first step. So go back into the app and then I have to search for a new Wi-Fi network so this smart temp is now sc uh, scanning the, the radio frequencies to make sure um, collects all the um, Wi-Fi uh, networks in the area and then I'll scroll down to my Go router which uh, by the label here it says Dorado C1A5A Alright, and the password was also on the sticker, so I'll paste that in there automatically. And I'll make sure that it's, uh, I have this box ticked in at the bottom, Komi Hog Lesenur, to remember the password. So you can check there, everything's uh, according to uh, the sticker. So click on Koplaop to connect. And so now what will happen is the Smart Temp will pair itself with the Devato Go router over Wi-Fi. This pairing should be complete any second now. Okay. 
there we go and I can rename the thermo uh, the smart temp but I'll just leave it as, as is I'll click on slit for it to complete or finalize and now it'll add itself into the list here of um, of smart devices so I got the energy watch at the bottom at home I have uh, three uh, smart plugs also listed and then I have here at the top I have the smart temp so that's the indoor temperature let's see indoor temperature and outdoor temperature so the outdoor is the one here on the lamp and uh, the data collection uh, is as always uh, daily monthly and annually you can click here on Overshift or overview so it shows you the the highest temperature the average and the lowest so day month and year and uh, gives you a nice uh, little graph here once you've once you've uh, collected a lot of data very cool thing to have uh, it's great to have for instance in a cottage or at home or even in a server farm at the office if you happen to have one um, I think this is a, a, a really neat thing to have and you can also uh, run it not just on batteries but you can plug in via micro USB uh, power adapter and let it run on that so in case the power does go out it'll, it'll switch over to battery but these batteries here they, uh, I think they last for about a year so if a power blackout does occur uh, this device is always talking to a Go which is also running on battery and so is the energy watch the only thing that won't be running a battery, of course, is a smart plug. But aside from that, um, a very cool solution uh, to have. All right, thank you.